I'll be going straight home and think about what I did. I'm just gonna fall over and act like I'm dead. Period! I'm about to get me some shrimp! Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. So this is gonna be like kind of a week in my life, but like a few days in my life. I need to clean my mirror. Ew. But today is Sunday and basically today is a chill day. That's why I look like this. But I'm going to build my little nail station. So I got all of my stuff in. I got my two chairs, which you might have seen in my other productive day in my life vlog i got my table and i got the little like storage cart that i'm gonna put all my stuff in so i'm gonna build all of that today i didn't want to build them like one at a time i was just like okay if i'm gonna build stuff i'm gonna build it all at one time so i'm gonna build all of that today so i can finally like start practicing on other people and then finally start doing people's nails Alexander Wayne, Alex. Eddie Kane. Eddie. Drop think I was insane. What my jeweler brain? Hide in Kirk O'Bain. Hunt your Bruce Wayne. Big boy paddock in the skelly. Sit red cones on the silly. He did your ice wrong, go to Elliot. Ice. Splash on the wrist, Jay Reddick. I got a bag of just no medic. These niggas drinking on straight synthetic. Ain't trying to fuck no bitch that petty. Skirt on a whole lot of Andretis. It'll lock up if you wet it. Chopping it up like machetes. Swerving the justice with Betty. Come to the north if you ready. If Seth said he said it, and I said it. If Tess said he said it, and I said it. Shoot for my niggas like Billy. Shoot, shoot for my niggas like Billy. Ice tray on nigga flooded. Ice, ice, ice. If a nigga hating, call him Joe Button. Who outside in his press buttons? Make that nigga mad, cause your bitch fucking. Fuck it. Ice tray the gang. Ice tray the gang. Ice tray the gang. Ice tray the gang. Fuck it. Ice tray the gang. Diamonds look like candy corn. Sent the chain of mail born. No mail is airborne. Coming on this chain with the flash like you're shooting porn. Five carat ring, do the pointers. Tell me where you're going. I'm a sin, like a needle picker. Pull hand around the neck when I fuck Undertaker. If my diamonds had a voice, it would sound like Fantasia. Huh. Million dollars on my jewelry, big appraisal. I'm looking ball like the Rosen. Happy huh? scale fully frozen. Huh? Right wrist cause commotion. Huh? Thick rocks on my wrist, so white need a whole kind of lotion. Diamond uh, be wet like the oceans. Huh? Wanna watch like this pussy? It's gonna cost you about a pretty token. Big carrots and they ice tray on nigga flooded. Ice, ice, ice. Yeah. If a nigga hating, call him Joe Button. Who outside in this press button? Okay, so this is the little completed area. I mean, I have to take the boxes and stuff out, but it's so cute. You know, it's it's little, but it's little. Um, so these are the chairs, and then the the desk has like a little drawer thing that I'm gonna put um more like nail tips and just stuff that I'm gonna use immediately in there, and then I have this little cart things so up here i have all the stuff that i would use immediately so like the drill the brush the bits and stuff the dehydrator top coat blah blah, blah blah and then this is the acrylic and some like flowers and some rhinestones and butterflies and stuff and then down there is just some like extras so like extra top coats and bases and uh, extra acrylics and the little um like gel polish colors are down there but i think i'm gonna like put a command hook or something and put them on the wall or something i don't know um but yeah it's cute for now i mean it's it's gonna do what it's gonna do you know it's not no professional setup because i'm not a professional but i think it's really cute and that didn't take me like too long I've been watching Love Island. So now that that's done, um, it is now like 2.30 and I have a video going up at three. So I'm just gonna kind of lay and I wanna take a nap, but I can't take a nap. So I'm just gonna lay for a little bit. 
um, wait for my video to upload and I'll post about it and everything. Um, and then I have some homework and another like design to do for somebody. So I'm gonna do that. And that's pretty much it for today. Other than that, I'm just chilling cause it's Sunday and tomorrow's Labor Day. Hey guys, today is Wednesday. It is 11.30 right now. Child, I am dead from that freaking workout. I went to the gym at like 10 o'clock. Um, I ran two miles and it was leg day. Today is like the third or fourth day of me taking fat burners. Um, I've been taking these. Um, I got them off Amazon and I wanted to try um, fat burners in general because Aaliyah's face talked about how she takes fat burners, but the fat burners she takes were $50 and I didn't want to pay $50. And she also said that they make her nauseous. So I was kind of worried because I was not like, I don't want to take them if I'm going to be nauseous. And all the reviews on Amazon, like nobody said anything about them making them nauseous or anything and they don't they make me feel a little weird but i wouldn't say they make me nauseous but like you also are supposed to take them on an empty stomach so like i take them on an empty stomach and i go work out so i kind of feel weird but i wouldn't say i feel like i'm gonna throw up or anything but i have been losing weight so i'm gonna keep taking them but i didn't vlog well, I vlogged a little bit on Monday, but I didn't include the footage because I literally did nothing but talk in this mirror. But basically all I did was redo my nails. So I did them a little shorter this time, if it'll focus on them. Um, I did them a little shorter this time and I wanted to test out the like colored acrylic that I had gotten. So that's what my nails look like but yeah today all i'm doing is going to the liquor store and just like taking notes for class or whatever but i'm going to the liquor store because my best friend's birthday is tomorrow she turns 21 um and i got these little like bottle labels let me show you i got these bottle labels for her so this one is for a tito's bottle because she always talks about tito's um and this is like a joke about her name and people mispronouncing them and yeah it's like her name in my phone um but it just says Demina's birthday 21 and looks 12 take a shot blah, blah 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 gonna go on a tito's bottle and then this one says happy birthday Jimena and this is gonna go on a Patron bottle so I just need to get a bottle of tito's and a bottle of Patron and put these on them for tomorrow so yeah I'm just going to take a shower because I am sweaty so I made um egg whites and some peppers for breakfast this morning. Cause I'm trying to get as much protein as I can, but I don't really eat a ton of meat. So I try to, you know, get it how I can. And then they look like that because I put cayenne pepper and paprika and this Italian herb thing. Um, and I'm trying to like put as many, I try to put as much seasoning as possible that so, without salt so I like it can taste as good as possible without salt you know and then I'll add salt later but I try to make it taste as good as it can on its own um but I'll put cayenne pepper on anything <laughs> everything I make I put cayenne pepper on before I go to the liquor store my friend just told me okay so we have a food truck on campus and the tassel we have a food truck on campus and the food truck has, okay, don't bully me. It's a little thing in the road. Okay, eyebrow pierced, I'm scared. It's a lot going on. Not the bus just put, this school is ghetto. This school is so ghetto. But anyway, we have a food truck on campus and the food truck has these fried shrimp that are so good, like, I don't really like anything that the school made. If it's not Chick-fil-A, I'm not eating it. Or like if it's not the salmon from Chili's, I'm not eating it and Chili's isn't even open. But anything like from the calf, anything that the school makes, I don't really mess with like that because it's not good. But the food truck is, I mean, I haven't really had much else from the food truck because I'm scared. But the fried shrimp slaps and it's seasoned and it's just so good and they don't have it all the time it's like a special so they only have it certain weeks <laughs> and since i'm not on campus it's harder for me to see 
when the food truck has it and when it doesn't because usually like last year i would just be able to like i would already be huh about to get hit i would already already be like walking around campus going to class and stuff and i would see the menu and see if they had it but since i'm not on campus this year it's harder for me to like i have to ask the people that i know that live on campus okay what do they have da, 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 da. and my friend said that they have the fried shrimp so i'm literally coming to campus just to get the fried shrimp um because it's good and i'm literally like you know it's good because i don't have a meal plan so i'm about to pay real dollars for this shrimp like it is that good and so i'm excited they better have it too because sometimes it sells out like i remember last year i got it and i was the last person like they only had one order of it left so they better freaking have it or i will cry because i'm driving to campus and there better be a parking spot up here because i don't want to park all the way over there and have to walk a freaking mile but i also don't want to get a ticket and i don't want to get towed i just don't like coming to campus like Okay, all the 15 minute spots look full. What is that up there? They changed so, huh, I can't go this way. Huh, turn around location? What? Oh, this is ghetto. Where am I supposed to, where am I supposed to park? If you think, am I really about to park all the way at the football lot and walk from the football stadium to the middle of campus for this shrimp. And it's not even in my diet. I'm not supposed to be eating fresh food. <sighs> if I park in this freaking, um, oh, hey, Karsten. Um, if I park in this football lot and I walk to the middle of campus and there's no shrimp left, I'm gonna spaz. This is literally my second time coming to campus and I hate it already. Actually third, but I was only here for like 10 minutes. I hate it. I don't wanna see anybody. And y'all are not wearing masks. Like, the pandemic is alive and well. Do I really need to park here? I don't wanna park all the way over here. I'm not doing it. Am I gonna risk a ticket? Is parking services out? Can I just pretend like I don't know where to park? Is there 15 minute here? Um, let me check. There's never 15 minute in here, but let me check. Is that a 15 minute? Oh, 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 period. 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 I'm about to get me some shrimp. I just want to go get my shrimp and leave. Like I really, cause the middle of campus is where everybody be like, because there's no seating inside anymore, so everybody has to sit outside if they want to eat. Like, I should have worn freaking sunglasses because I don't want anybody to see me. If I hear, hey, Lexi, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fall over and act like I'm dead. Because everybody sits out here now and literally the food truck is smack in the middle. Oh God, everybody's out here. Go away. Oh my God, look at that is. Look at all those people. Do you see all those people over there? I don't even know if you can see all those people, but there's so many people. I'm about to walk up this little thing and go straight to the food truck. I got my swimp and he paid for my water. Um, It was kind of weird. It was, I was uncomfortable. And then Brittany, she also has shrimp, but- He um, got my water. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not too grub because there's so many of them, I'm happy. Okay, I, the shrimp was good as freak. Um, but of course I saw 50 million people. Oh my God, what are you doing? Is this a tow truck? Is my car still there? Is my car still there? Oh, my car is still there, oh my God. Um, of course I saw 50 million people because I sat there and ate with Brittany um and it's the middle of the day in the middle of campus and everybody's you know walking back and forth and getting food and stuff so i saw 50 million people and i was like hi hi but 
it was worth it low-key because the shrimp were really good but that's the last time <laughs> i'm coming to campus for some food they were good but eight dollars for some shrimp and some fries would have been more if the guy didn't buy my water but that's the last time okay i'm at the liquor store look how sad this place is like i just i'm not gonna record in there because first of all the people outside like what i'm, I'm scared and i feel like it's i don't know i feel like it's illegal to record inside the abc store because they're gonna be like are you buying for underagers so i'm about to go get the bottles and then i'll be out first of all this was way more expensive than i thought but i got tito's and then i got patron first of all like oh my god i think it was freaking this that was so expensive i've literally never gotten patron before though so i huh okay everything's falling over i should have looked up the prices before but how how much was the yeah that's why the patron was fifty dollars fifty dollars what what so she better <laughs> she better be drunk off of, ass off of this because look all right the bag is pissing me off so the plan was well the plan was that i was going to go to the liquor store and get a pedicure um but <laughs> after that total no because that was supposed to be my total for the day I thought the alcohol was gonna be fifty dollars, <laughs> and the pedicure was gonna be like twenty-five, and that was gonna be my total for the day. But maxed out my total, so <laughs> I'll be going straight home and think about what I did. Okay, so update: I am home now. Um, and part of this vlog was supposed to be like exciting and funny and whatever. I was supposed to get my first Brazilian wax on Friday. Um, but the wax people just called me and said that, I can't remember if she said, I couldn't really understand her cause she was talking really fast, but either the person that was gonna wax me or somebody else, like just somebody in the facility <sighs> tested positive for COVID. So they're canceling, like they're canceling my appointment. I think it was a lady that was supposed to wax me, but regardless they're canceling or they, they're canceling my appointment unless I wanted to like reschedule with somebody else. But I was like, no, it's fine. I'll just wait until y'all are COVID free and then I'll reschedule for later. So no Brazilian wax for this vlog. It was gonna be, I, I was banking on it too. I already had like the title of this video ready to go. Talking about some week in my life first, Brazilian wax like I was ready and I already checked it out because I was supposed to I originally <laughs> scheduled it for today which I'm glad I didn't I rescheduled because if I had gone today I would have already been there and whoever might have had COVID didn't didn't want that but I already checked it out and I scheduled it for Friday because I got nervous and I was like no I want to wait a little longer but now I'm sad because like I've been like building myself up for it all week and i'm like you know i'm gonna go because everybody keeps telling me like some people are like oh it doesn't hurt at all it's just one little part that's like that hurts but it's bearable oh everyone's over dramatic and then one purple's uh, people are like oh my god it's the worst pain i kicked the lady in the mouth like i'm like which one is it does it hurt or not so but I guess I'll have to reschedule for later. But I did want to talk about Fenty Skin. So I know a lot of you, okay, I posted a boomerang on my story when I first got Fenty Skin. Um, and a lot of people were like, are you gonna do a review? Like, let me know how it goes. Um, so I just wanted to include a little bit in this video. Basically, I, I like Fenty Skin, but I think the only thing that I would repurchase as of now is the moisturizer. The moisturizer is my favorite thing. Um, I was really nervous to try the entire line because everybody kept saying that it was like super super scented and it wasn't good for sensitive skin and like i don't have necessarily sensitive skin like sensitive to scents and stuff but my skin doesn't like when i switch stuff up on it um but my skin's been doing much better uh, the, the issue for my skin over the summer was the freaking masks wearing my mask every single day to work like it was just 
and now i'm back on my regular skincare routine and my skin is doing much better but my thoughts on fenty skin i think it's good i think it just depends on who you are and who what your relationship with skincare is if it's worth it um so if you're someone who's like me who's literally tried everything it's not like i don't want to like tug down on it because it's not bad it's just not like it's not that fantastic and i feel like a lot of people who don't have that much experience with skincare confuse like a new skincare line with being good for whatever issue they have so like fenty skin is not going to get rid of your acne fenty skin is not going to like completely transform your skin unless you're someone who's literally never had a skincare routine then it'll probably transform your skin but not because it's fenty skin but because you're using a skincare routine if that makes sense so basically if you don't know i mean um if you're interested in fenty skin then you know what she offers but it's a cleanser a toner toner serum and a moisturizer with spf in it so if you're someone who like doesn't wash your face twice a day if you've never used a toner if you don't use spf like if you're just someone who washes their face with dove soap whenever they feel like it then yes this skincare routine will be very transformative for your skin because you're doing something so different but if you're someone who has like an eight step skincare routine fenty skin isn't going to like transform your skin with that being said i do think it's a good like basic starter skincare i am obsessed with the packaging the packaging is so functional there's no mess like i love the packaging i have to test it out for a little longer i've been using it for two and a half weeks now about i have to wait a little longer to see if the toner serum like really kind of does anything because i know like I can tell when something is just like keeping my skin in the same spot and then it, when something is really transforming my skin. But I think it's, I personally use Fenty Skin in the morning. It's my morning routine. And then my night routine is where I use a bunch of like intense stuff for my acne and for scarring and for texture and stuff. So if you're someone who has a lot of texture and a lot of acne and stuff like that, then I wouldn't say this skincare routine is gonna get rid of all that editing Lexi here and I just wanted to say don't first of all don't mind the lisp because I have my smile directing my retainer in but I just wanted to say um I really am not trying to like talk down on Fenty Skin but I wanted to say like Fenty Skin doesn't claim to fix acne like so if you're new to skincare keep in mind that just because you're buying like a celebrity skincare line doesn't mean that it's going to fix whatever issue you have so if you have acne you're gonna be like oh i want my skin to look like rihanna's i'm gonna get that and it's gonna get rid of my acne no because she doesn't even claim that it's gonna get rid of your acne so just keep in mind what it's actually saying that it's going to fix and it focuses on like okay it'll get rid of your dark spots but i haven't been using it long enough to tell which is why i said that i needed to use the toner for longer to give like an actual opinion on how the toner works but i just wanted to throw that out there if you're someone who has like acne prone skin and you're new to skincare and you're getting this because rihanna it's not gonna like get rid of your acne because she doesn't even claim that it's gonna get rid of your acne but i just want to throw that out there i'm not talking about her line i would buy it again like uh, just because it's not like that transformative for me um but because my nighttime skincare, my nighttime skincare routine is where i do like all the hard work basically but i do like using fenty skin in the morning because i was lacking a morning skincare routine since like i said most of the work goes into my nighttime skincare routine i was lacking a morning skincare routine and i wanted something simple that was going to work for my skin and not like make it worse which fenty skin hasn't made my skin worse so <laughs> that's a plus in itself but i wanted something that was going to work and just kind of maintain the work that my nighttime skincare routine does for me so that's what i use fenty skin for um but i love the moisturizer and that's probably what i will be repurchasing forever and always until i find something better because it's really important to wear sunscreen every single day. If you don't wear SPF on your face every single day, you need to, especially like if you have texture. I mean, especially if you have dark spots um, or hyperpigmentation or anything, or if you're using any type of AHA, BHA, anything like that at night, 
um you need to be wearing a sunscreen during the day and i hate using a moisturizer and then a sunscreen i just don't like the extra step so i've always preferred sunscreen and moisturizer combinations so in summary is fenty skin worth it it really does just depend on you and your relationship with skincare um am i upset at my purchase no would i buy the whole set again no i would prefer to use like a regular like drugstore cleanser i have a hard time justifying paying over a certain amount for a cleanser when it's literally on my face for a minute um, i'll pay more for like toners and serums and oils and da 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 da, da. i'll pay more for that because that sits on your skin and sinks in and stuff but cleansers are literally on there for like two seconds so i don't really you know but but yeah that's my mini not so many review on fenty skin i didn't want to do a whole video on it because first of all i've only been using it for two and a half weeks and i don't really do like full-on review videos for like a certain products or lines or anything so i just figured i would include it in this vlog because i just be yapping in vlogs anyway what's up guys today is thursday um so today is mena's birthday it's like six o'clock now i didn't vlog today because all i did was go to class and go to the gym but it's mena's birthday so we're going to have a birthday dinner for her um it's like in an hour ish but i have her present so she ignore the fluff like the black fuzz i have to get it all up it's from my freaking slippers like it's annoying but i have these <laughs> this is huge like look at like this is freaking huge but i have some cow themed balloons blown up for her because she loves cows um and there's a ton more but i wasn't gonna blow them all up and then i have her bottles i'm not gonna take the patron one back out of the box just because it's all like wrapped and everything but i put the bottle labels on them and they look super cute and i'm really excited so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to walmart on the way to dinner and i'm gonna get a bag to put that in and since i didn't blow like they i i tried to go get them blown up with helium but you had to like buy the balloons at the place to get them blown up by them so I had to build them up myself so like they're not floating or anything so I guess I'll like try to find a bag big enough to put the big cow balloon in and I can put that all in a bag and then just give her the rest with the rest of these but yeah that's the plan but yeah I'm super excited and I'm excited to finally see her like drink out in public and everything since it's her 21st or whatever I can't wait to like see her order or whatever because she's kind of a lightweight so i'm hoping that she gets drunk like off her first drink or whatever and it'll be funny to see or whatever i also wanted to talk about these lip glosses um i put them on my instagram story the other day but look how cute like you open it up hold on let me show you let me show you you open it up and it turns like there's a light and it turns on that's is that not like so freaking cool cool and then there's a mirror on the back like like look at that that's so freaking cute like so this would have been so great to have um at the freaking club when the club was open i could see what i'm doing because it's like th like it just makes your lips look really good but um i have it in this what is this one juicy peach and then i have one in pink nude and because like i'm gonna wear neutrals on my lips anyway but they have a ton of different colors i'll put the link down below on my friend is actually selling them go get you some because the light like i just think that is so freaking cool like like i feel like this is so high tech and just like everything is built in the mirror the light the lip gloss like what more do you need but yeah now i'm i'm on my way i'm on my way to dinner okay i decided to in my hair i decided to come to dollar tree instead um because it it just walmart is too busy and annoying but it's so quiet in here like there's nobody in here i wanted a bag that was gonna fit the drinks and the balloon all in one but it looks like there's just gonna be ones to fit the drinks um, and why are they all Christmas? Like, huh? Wait, does it say best witches? Best, oh, best witches, oops. But like, why are there Christmas ones? I'm confused. Like, that's all Christmas over there. But I guess I'll get 
I mean, that's ugly. <laughs> that's ugly. This is still kind of ugly, but better. But I'm gonna get a bag and some tissue paper and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> it might be two. Why are you sipping it? Oh my God. Wow, yay! <laughs> <I> mean, oh. <laughs> Big. <laughs> Jezebel. Jezebel. You're not gonna have enough hands. Read it. <gasps> Shut up. Read it. The whole thing. <laughs> She's a little large. She's a little large. Does it have an ace? <laughs> I have to keep it forever. I think that's the thing. Friday. This is a horrible angle, but this is just gonna have to do. Um, today is Friday, and I have nothing to do since I was supposed to get my wax today. I literally, I was supposed to get it in 30 minutes, but I literally have nothing to do. Um, I slept in. It was nice because I haven't slept in in a good little minute because I keep going to the gym in the morning. But I didn't go today. I might go tonight, or I might just like do something at home today but i just didn't want to go in the morning um i wanted to give myself a little rest but i'm happy because my bath and body works candles came in so it was last week week and a half ago and they had three wick candles were ten dollars off and right now i mean by the time this video goes up it's probably not going to be going on still but right now they're buy one get one free which is an even better deal than ten dollars off i think if you do the math right because ten dollars off they were fourteen dollars each so if I got two candles, that was $28. Yeah, and now if it's fine, I'm getting free, that's two candles for $24. So regardless, I got six candles. One of them was free though. This little one was free. Cause I had like, if you have a Bath and Body Works account, like rewards, membership, whatever you want to call it. Um, they like give you free points or whatever. And it was like, you could pick anything on the website that was under $16.50. So I picked this candle. This is the Comfort Scent. It's from their aromatherapy line. and I'm so mad that they don't have this in three wick because it smells so good i want what's the description it is vanilla and patchouli which patchouli i freaking love patchouli i don't know i mean i don't know if y'all like the same scents as me obviously but i like i'm not a floral person i do, i like fruity ones but i don't really go for the fruity ones i go for like the warm musky some of them can pass as cologne kind of scents like i like those type of scents unless it's like something sweet and fall scented which some of these that i'm about to show you are sweet fall scents because they're limited edition i just had to but if they had this in a three wick i would stock up let me tell you so let me show you the other ones i got so i got champagne toast it's one of my favorite scents but it's like the odd one out that i like because i just explained to you that i like manly or musky warm scents and this is none of that um it is bubbly champagne sparkling berries juicy tangerine and essential oils i don't know what it is about this scent but ever since they like created it i remember it used to be limited edition around new year's and i literally first of all they didn't have they didn't used to have candles in this scent they only had like the room scent things and i literally have one of them over there like the one that's plugged in is champagne toast 
you can't really smell it because I have the fan going crazy so you can't really ever smell it but it literally like I don't know what it is about it but I wanted I ran out of the wallflower in the summer I remember and I literally found it on Amazon for $57 and I paid $57 I would not do that again, but I freaking love this scent. I don't know what it is, but it just smells so good. It's not like super, super fruity, but it's not like, it's really sweet, but it's, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I love champagne toast. So I got champagne toast. I got one of those. I got Palo Santo. Please don't mark me for how I said that. Um, And this was online only because, and I'll tell you why I got this. There's, I have this candle that also is Palo Santo. I got this from TJ Maxx. And this is one of my favorite candles of all time. But since it's TJ Maxx, like you can't just go get a bunch. Like you can't just re-up all the time. So I was like, maybe it'll smell the same. It doesn't smell the same. It does smell good though, but it doesn't smell the same. But literally like this candle that I wanted to base it off of, it, the brand is mainly indulgence. Like when I'm telling you I like scents that are mainly I'm not lying and then I got two leaves if you don't know what if like it sounds so weird to have leaves as a candle scent I don't know why they named it leaves but it smells so good like it literally it is like the epitome of fall scents if you're someone who doesn't like like those spicy scents for fall you're not gonna like this um it is described as red crisp apple wait crisp red apple golden nectar warm clove spice and essential oils it smells like those stereotypical christmas scents like if you walk into a christmas shop this is what it smells like and i got two because <laughs> i freaking love this scent and then the last one I got, which I typically don't go for these scents, but I got it anyway. Um, I got pumpkin pecan waffles. It just smells warm. So I would use this scent like after a long day and I'm like cuddled up in my bed with a face mask, no homework, or I'm just pushing the homework to the side. It says maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. It smells delicious. But what I think I'm gonna do today, since they're on sale again, I think I'm gonna get another champagne toast just because I don't have like it is such a it is such a unique scent. Like leaves and pumpkin pecan waffle they're like interchangeable and comfort they're all like interchangeable they all like fit the same mood but like champagne toast is something i would burn after i cleaned like if that makes sense like i just cleaned the whole room i'm in a good mood it's the middle of the day on a sunday really sunny and i'm about to burn this because it smells light and airy and fresh am i the only person that burns specific candles for specific moods and specific activities <laughs> i would burn palo santo it's giving me editing it's giving me i want to say homework but it's giving me editing like i have a task to do it's a fun task but it's a task y'all don't y'all don't care you didn't ask for this but anyway i think i'm gonna get another champagne toast and I might try a new one. I don't know why, but the blueberry waffle is some, some, some sound crazy, but it low key sounds good. Like I low key want to try it. I think I'm going to order some more of those. And I think I have another free gift. So if I have another free 1650, I'm going to definitely get another one of these because this is literally like a combination of a manly scent and like a sweet scent. It, cause it's vanilla and patchouli. Duh. I, honestly, if I had to pick one candle or one scent, I would pick this. Like everything, I have this in lotion, everything. Like I freaking love this scent. So this is like the perfect combination of all the things that I like in a candle or a scent. So yeah, I'm gonna order some more candles. But like I said, it's Friday, so it's the end of the week. I'm literally not doing anything else today besides 
chilling doing homework and stuff i just have meetings over the weekend so that's nothing exciting so i think i'm gonna end the vlog here if you did enjoy this vlog please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i post every sunday and wednesday and i post a lot of college vlogs so if you are someone who likes college content or vlogs you know come back and see some more because i post them quite often but yeah follow me on my social medias i post on my story every single day over there so you'll see more of me over there and get updates on when i'm posting videos what i'm posting about give your input on what you want to see from me but other than that that is the end of today's video and i hope you have a great day bye Planet.